Welcome back, and of course, on the final lap of Robin Minds this Sunday afternoon from Freef, we move well, still in the same realm, and this time we're talking about Nollywood. Um, I mentioned earlier on that if you do know or watch um, the Lecky Wives, you will know her character. You will know that um, the character itself is a complete contrast to the personality. It's been a while I've seen her as well, and it's great to have her in the studio. Nikki, Kiki, 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 how are you? I'm good. I, don't, I, I shouldn't call you that. This is okay. Let's make it official. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, how are you? Um, I'm very well, thank you. I, I want to say, um, I don't know, I'm always used to calling you Omili. It's Omili, actually. Um, a lot of people misspell that or mm. misspell and mispronounce. Yeah, but it's I'm Omili. sure you get that. Yeah, all the time. Or Omeili. Well, yeah, I get I get Omeili, I get Omeli, I get Omi, I get all sorts, but it's Omeli, please. But I think I think most people are just used to Kiki Kiki for well, sure. Well Kiki is fine really. I think there's only one Kiki. Everybody else is an imposter. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're looking great. Thank you so Your much. Your career is soaring and of course this this new role of yours, um, this character has has I mean, I will not lie, most of what I have seen and heard is based on people who, who watch and follow. So I'm not going to form like I sit down and watch it every day. <laughs> but the, the character Lovette has become, she's been described as like an airhead, someone who just does, yeah. who doesn't think about, just gets, do, doesn't care what happens. Well, yeah, I tend to describe her as an airhead. Lovette goes after what she wants. She's a... Uh... She's really oblivious of whatever consequences. She doesn't care. She just does what she wants to do. Uh, so yeah, Lucky Wives was a major, should I say, breakthrough? Mm. You know, for me, career-wise, uh, it really got me noticed in a lot of circles and you know, movie-wise. And it's, when, when, uh, it when you really saw it, were you like, ah, oh, in Nigeria, would this work? Do I want to be part of this? Were there reservations that this project might not be as good as the international? Okay, versions. well, here's the thing. Um, the international versions are reality shows. Mm. And like you guys, it's, it's drama, really. Mm. But when I received the script at first, I remember being a tad skeptical because I thought we were really pushing the envelope. Yeah. But what do you know? Nigerians embraced it and they really loved it. So, there okay. you go. Um, good, good for you. Yeah. And so far, the it's pain financially well, as well? Well, yes. I have to be honest. <laughs> not in the beginning. Not in the beginning, because uh, it was really... Uh, uh, it's, I mean, if, if you said that, oh yeah, it's, it's a big check, some people would be looking at you like, who you did this What is she talking about? <laughs> I know, not in the beginning, but uh, right, right now I can't really complain. I mean, it pays the bills. So. Um, your career, 2011? Will I be yes, right? 2011. Just, but yeah. what was happening before then? Let's, let's, let's go back in time a bit. Um, do I hear medicine? Yes, you do. Doctor? Yes, you do. Um, um, <laughs> what happened? As in, who I get, I get that question all the time. People are like, seriously, you studied medicine and I've said but that. But if you, you were actually... my doctor, seriously speaking, yeah. looking, I'll probably you be falling know. ill a lot just to come and get medical checkups well, or something. Well, I still get, I still get all kinds of calls, you know, <laughs> this is, and I, I, I give prescriptions when I can, some other times. But you're licensed. I say just good. I am licensed. I renew my license every year. I don't play with that. So I spent seven years getting that degree. So and got, where, where did you get the degree from? In the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. Fantastic. Great yes. at Great. <laughs> <laughs> <Great. laughs> okay, so um, your awards, um, I mean, I had to do a little bit of background. I was just blown away. You've done. You've you've gotten awards from the African Film Awards, the Best Actress Supporting Role in English. Um, you have Best Supporting Actress Female, The Sting, the movie. That's a Gaima, 2015. Yeah, yeah, um, you have the Best Actress English, Lagos, on the 30, 30 on the 40 Awards, yeah. Film Festival Awards, Berlin, 2016. You were nominated for the best. I mean, you have all of this <laughs> going for you. You've done. I don't want to say you've done so well, because I think this is just the beginning for no, you. you can just go ahead and see. <laughs> you've done so well, and you're still doing, you're well. still doing My head is just going to swell. It's just going to know? swell. Yeah. So, um, Dr. Kiki, how, how has this helped you in terms of knowing what next to do? Is it a distraction? Do you just put just by the side, like, you know what, I still have bigger fishes to fry? Um, truth be told, no, it's not a distraction. But what it is, is encouraging. Hmm. Uh, it tells you you're doing something right. It tells you, you know, what you're taking steps in the right direction. It tells you that you're growing. So it encourages you to do more. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I think it is. Really. And, and in, I mean, your journey so far, um, I'm looking at the list of people you've, you've worked with and a very impressive list. Um, I have, I mean, I have Uncle Olu, Bimba Kintola, 
um, our brother IK. Uh, I'm sure that was fun. That <laughs> was fun. Was 24 a lot seven. Of fun. He's, IK, he's not normal. IK is a piece of work. Oh my goodness, it was a lot of fun. Big, big shout out to IK as well. Um, but who's been the, the the person that you were like? You know what? I would not mind getting behind the camera with this person over and over again. Uh, you mean in front of the camera? Uh, I mean. <laughs> Uh, in front of the camera, sorry, not well, behind. Well, truth be told, there are lots of people you work with, and you know that if you had the opportunity, you'd want to work with them over and over again. Mm. Uh, I want to mention Daniel K. Daniel, DM Yokonawa, mm. um, Gideon Okeke. I mean, these are all fantastic actors that you have such chemistry with and such a good rapport that, mm. you know, I kill Sakyo You know that, you know, if the opportunity presents... I, I think you just pause on I kill Sakyo <laughs> You know, you'd want to do it over and over again. But then there are people you've also never worked with that you'd mm. love to work with. I'd love to work with Richard Mufedamijo. Never worked you have with him. It. No, never worked with him. Would love I to. love and hate him at the same time. Because he still looks so good. Yeah, and I Because you so were old, watching man. him in I'm primary just... school. Yes. And he still looks so good. Yes. I dare say maybe better than you. <laughs> Not even dare say he's better. <laughs> As I have my wife looking at him like, ah, oh, RMD. <laughs> um, talking about chemistry, we'll, we'll find out uh, Kiki's chemistry on set and off set and of course find out what she's up to now right here on Robin Minds. Stick around. Welcome back and it's still Robin Minds. I just uh, had my blood pressure checked and um, my vitals are okay according to Dr. Kiki. Yes. Yeah, so am I, am I good? You fit. I'm fit. Fit for TV. Yeah. I'm fit for other things but that's not the topic of the day. <laughs> now um, you have this degree, there's medicine, yes. there's acting. Yes. Is there any way you, you, you blend the two? Are there roles you've played as a doctor or is there a project or something that you like, you know what, let me take that seven years of medical school into, into Nollywood? You know, interestingly, I don't really like to play a doctor when I play roles because I... I like to do. Well, roles you don't like to really play a doctor far. when you play roles. Yes, because I like to do roles that are like really far removed from who I really am. I mean, that's I all the it. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I mean, that that's the fun. But mm. what I do do is um, I do a lot of health advocacy okay. because after all said and done, yes, I'm acting, but I'm still a medical doctor, and there there's so many things. You know, there's a lot of knowledge I could impart. You know, to people. Mm. You know, so I do a lot of that, and um, sometime in May this year. I released a short film. It's oh, called okay. Unprotected, and it was actually based on a lot of the experiences I had in in medical school. You know, some things just stay with you, yeah. and if you have the opportunity, you want as many people as possible to mm. know about this. And you what know. was that one thing for you? Um, that that's what Unprotected explores. Actually, it's how uh, you know one man's actions have devastating consequences for his family. Because I think a lot of times people do things and um, they don't really realize that their family could be affected, you know, by their mm. actions. So that's what Protected seeks to explore. I don't want to give away too much because oh, I, I really want people to go <laughs> see it. You in particular, it's online. It's it's on YouTube, so it's anybody YouTube. can access so it. So they can just uh, YouTube, unprotected, unprotected, produced by Kiki and Media and Is this your first de it is, debut it is production? Producing debut. Directing? No, producing, directing. producing debut. Okay. Yes. Who who directed? It was directed by Stan Yohikwari, who I work a lot with actually. Okay. Yeah. And and who, who featured in this short film? Uh, we have me, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you have, the wife uh, of the man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it all. Mm. Yeah. And then and the this... man is played by Eric Diddy, who's a fantastic actor. We also have Bimba Dimoye, uh, Blessing Ambrose, Nathan Kingsley, among okay. others in the movie. And, and uh, how long do you take to put this together? Uh, short films usually it, don't cost much, right? Well, or well, well, I mean, I mean, yeah, relative, relatively, they don't cost as much as features, obviously, mm -hmm. depending on what kind of short film you're doing. Um, principal photography was two days, it took okay. two days to film, but pre-production took a while because um, there were several things that I wanted to achieve, basically, and <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned I wrote it as well, so obviously that's a You did what? Oh, yeah, I'm multi-talented like that. Wow. I wrote it as well. I wrote, wrote and protected, yes. I wrote and produced, produced. it. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that seems to be the trend with most actors. When you've been um, on set a while, it's the only next thing to do, which is to step into the shoes of the producer or a director. Well, for me, I'm trying to do something different. Mm. I'm trying to do health advocacy through movies, because I think movies are just a really fantastic way to get a lot of information across, because you're entertaining people. At the mm. same time, you're educating them. 
So that's what I'm trying to do, really. And I also hear from time to time that you also compare events. Well, yes. You a lot I said of blogging. Multi talented. At some it's a lot point, happening. Yeah, see. at some point, I uh, I used to go on the radio. I used to do some health um, talk mm. show where people would call in. I would pick a particular health topic mm. and you know dissect it, and people would call in with questions. Uh, but you know, when acting got more serious, I didn't really have the time for that anymore. So. Okay, so let let's let's go into what I really wanted to delve into before the break, which is. Um, the, the butterflies stuff. in your smoke and of course your heart throbs. Um, <laughs> we have RMD on the list. Oh, how do you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, my goodness, I, I seem to be so open about that. Uh, you have RMD knows. on the list. RMD, are you listening? I, I wonder what goes through his mind. <laughs> I, I seriously do. But um, he's someone to really, is a real role model in all faces. He's yes, a great, he is. great man. Yes, he um, is. But then again, well, he's somebody else's man. Oh no, the, the crush is innocent, really. It's okay, what about the guilty crush? Who is on your scope right now? What if I said he was sitting right in front of me? <laughs> I have to look back. <laughs> Just making sure. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. We'll talk about that in camera. Oh, come on. Yeah. You can't just be doing advocacy, acting, producing, or directing, whatever the case might be. Um, there has to be room for, for, for love. It's, it sounds very cliche, but a lot of people want to actually know what goes on behind. Mm, they do. Mm. So there's no one. <clears throat> I have a couple of very, very good friends. Okay, I guess we'll talk in camera then. Yeah. Oh, Kiki, you're no fun. <laughs> <laughs> you're no fun. Um, thank you very much for, for, for joining us. Thanks I for wish you all me. the best. Thank and so um, don't forget to, to YouTube. Uh, check it out on Protected. And uh, let, let her know what you think about it. Um, and if you have any questions, just, just shoot her. Your, your handle? Yeah, my handle across all social media platforms is Akikiomili. That's K-I-K-I-O-M-E-I-L-I. -I Fantastic. So I will be following her. Not on social media, but um, we, we have a lot to talk about. It's been a while I've seen her. Thank you very much for joining me today. And to all our guests, thank you for being here. To those of you at home, have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye for now.